Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to disable the leaderboard in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And this will work with any game that you're creating. I'm going to go ahead and create one with the village theme here. So I wanted to point out quickly that the leaderboard is usually there by default, or you may have put a leaderboard into your game. So the leaderboard is usually on the top right hand corner. If I click on this button here, you can see I have an option for the leaderboard. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this game. So I just want to show you that this game has a leaderboard ready to go. So in order to disable that leaderboard, what you're going to want to do, you're going to make sure you have your Explorer tab on the right hand side. If you don't see your Explorer tab, go up to view and then click on Explorer so that you can see your Explorer tab. Now, when you are in your Explorer tab, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the starter player and then drop down the starter player with the triangle and you'll see there is a starter player scripts. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on that and then click the add button. So we're gonna insert a local script in order to remove the leaderboard from the game. So once you add that local script, it will show up on the top here and you can go ahead and delete the default script that they have. Now, if you would like to, you can add a wait function to your game. And so when you put the wait function there, that way, if you want the player to see uh, the leader stats for a second and then have it disappear, you can do that. And so you would just uh, put a number inside there that you would like. And then uh, in line three, you're gonna wanna start and you're gonna say game.startergui and you can either uh, click on what the option they give you or you can type it in and then colon and then you're going to do set core GUI enabled. I'm going to click on that enum dot core GUI type dot player list and then comma false. So the false is where we are actually setting the leaderboard. I'm going to go ahead and put this script in the description so you can just copy and paste it into the starter player scripts and add a local script and then just put it in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and play the game and you're going to notice that when I go to see the leaderboard, it's not there first of all. And then if I click this, you'll see it doesn't give me the option for the leaderboard anymore. So uh, you can see that the script was able to work with the game and you see chat still works. Um, I've seen some people say they had problems with chat. It should still work if you typed it in correctly. And so this will be helpful for the games you're creating if when you want to uh, not show the leaderboard in your games. Again, you can use the wait function. All you would need to do is uh, if I wanted to wait maybe like three seconds, I could put a three there. And that way, whenever I start and stop the game, then uh, it would load the script after three seconds. So you now know how to disable the leaderboard in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.